I'm here with <laughs> I'm, I'm here with Milton Justice uh, for the Theatre Network, and uh, Milton, you're a teacher, producer. What else? Director, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> Survivor. Mostly theatre or screen. Um, directing at theatre and f mostly producing in film. You have got quite a lot of awards, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. A few people might respect them. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. I think I was in the right place at the right time, I guess. More than once. Can you tell me uh, your top awards? Uh, your favorite achievements? In well, I, I have an Academy Award for documentary. What was that one? Uh, it was a documentary on the homeless called Down in, Out in America. And uh, I think we did it in the mid 80s. Um, so that was cool. Is it heavy? It is heavy. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Where do you have it? Uh, I have it actually uh, at the moment. Um, uh, my apartment in Los Angeles doesn't have a mantle, but it does have a fireplace. So it's in front of the fireplace. In front of it? On the floor. What? <laughs> well, I haven't gotten around to building a mantle yet. Okay. And what about the other ones? Uh, the Emmy's on the floor next to it. What uh, was it? Uh, it was for a children's school, after school special, which starred the then unknown Ben Affleck and his first job, I think he was 14. Yeah. So. So, um, you know a fair few celebrities. I. I <laughs> Yeah. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose so. Like if we flick through a Who magazine, <clears throat> you know pretty much everyone. Every no, I would not know everyone. No, no, no. I just, I, I, you know, you're around long enough, you work long enough, you run into enough people, and so. That's, and and uh, tell me about the, the school. Uh, the school where I teach at the moment, uh, I mean, I've taught at a lot of schools, but I'm back at the Stella Adler School in Los Angeles, which is where I got my start. Um, I studied with Stella for many years. She, of course, was Marlon Brando's teacher, Robert De Niro's teacher, and, and mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I uh, studied with Stella in Los Angeles. I studied with Stella in New York. And then in the mid-'80s, I was the artistic director of her theater company. And then I went off and had this other life in all these other, you know, in other places. And so now I've come back home, I think, to Los Angeles and the school there. How, have you traveled a lot around the world? Um, I, yeah, I've always traveled. E even my first job in television, <coughs> um, I was working with the, uh, with the um, comedian Bob Hope. And we did a lot of shows from out of town. It was during the Vietnam War, so we did shows from Vietnam, and every year we went around, we went around the world at Christmas. So I, I, I'm very drawn to anything that takes me places. And then I've taught in New Zealand, now I've taught here, I've taught in England, <coughs> I've taught in South Korea. You're an, you're an acting teacher, is that yes. the main yeah, thing you teach? Yeah, primarily, yeah. So does that mean you're an actor? No, no, it doesn't. Um, I have acted. I've acted a lot. Um, I'm more, I, I would say I'm more a director mm. and an acting coach. Um, I think in order to be an actor, you have to be so driven that that's the only thing that you really want to do. And it just never was. Uh, and also, I, I don't think I'm a very exciting actor. Um, I've, I've seen me before, and, and I think, ah, he's okay. Yeah. You know, he's fine. Um, but what I do know is um, how to help actors find what they can do. Mm. And that's a real strength of mine. I, I, have a, I think I have the ability to look at actors and see what it is they're capable of, and I have... An, the technique and craft to help them get to it. So, you know, I, for me, it's more interesting than acting. We've discussed the levels of competence in acting 
in America compared to Australia. What what is that discrepancy and and how can we overcome it? Also, if we want to succeed in Hollywood, what do we need to do? American accents, etc. Um, well, I mean to say that there's a discrepancy between. You know, we just have more opportunities. Um, in in a small industry, um, you just don't have that many opportunities. I mean, my, you know, when, I mean, when you think how large America is and how much product we put out, it doesn't mean it's good product, but it's just people have a lot of uh, opportunities. Plus, in, in Los Angeles, where theater is not particularly important, there's still 80 theaters. Mm. <clears throat> so, I mean, there are places for actors to go. Um, so, uh, it's, you know, I, unfortunately, I mean, I would really like to say, you know, who cares about surviving in Hollywood, but unfortunately, that's the reality of it. Um, you know, one would hope that um, Australian filmmakers and writers would have so much interesting product that the world would come here. And on occasion that happens. Mm. Uh, I mean, I look back at some really extraordinary Australian films and I think, you know, what a, you know how wonderfully unique. But it's, you know, we have, what, 300 million people living in America? <laughs> it's just... About 22, I think. Yeah, so it's just, you know... We, Plus, we, my God, we have studios, we have channels, we have, you know, I mean, it's just, we just have more opportunity. There's no way, there's no way to compete with that. And, and you had a successful show on... Off, off. And I had it, yeah, I had a very successful what show. Was that one it was called Vanities. Uh, it, uh, it ran for five and a half years. It became, at the time, the longest running play in off Broadway history. Um, it had in it, one of my college classmates, Kathy Bates, and um, and we were just a bunch of bumbling idiots, who you know, one of our friends. I mean, we had gone, to, we had all gone to college together. You, you say you still now? Um, yeah, on occasion. I mean, you know, we all have our lives, and yeah. then periodically we get together. You uh, seem to be involved a lot in theatre um, training for students, right? At, at yeah. The schools, but you saw, you're also a producer. Yeah. Of films. Yes. So is that a huge divide? I mean, that, that must be a rare position that you're um, in. I think it is. I, 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 I think so. I mean, I've, I've managed to straddle, I think, from one side to the other that um, I like it. You know, I, the, it's, I, I don't suggest other people do it. Um, is there a difference between the acting in film and uh, stage? I, I've never found a difference between the acting and stage and film particularly. But, you know, smaller, you know, you know I'm in a close-up so I don't have to do so much. But, I mean, still, the impulse is the same. There, you know, you make an adjustment to it.